Okay, so before we get fully started with the video, I just want to mention that you can buy the hoodies you see right now in the shop I link down below. So if you're interested, then go and check it out. And yeah, let's continue with the second vlog of my trip to Scotland. On the Sunday, so the second day, we decided to train because honestly, we ate so much. And I won't lie to you, like if I would eat so many calories every day, I would get fat. So do you work out, then you can eat more because muscle mass burns more calories. So here you can see um, a booty activation circle. Um, first time I did that, uh, yeah, Danielle was kind of my gym teacher. Um, you see the exercises we did there with this like elastic band, which was quite good. And then we just did a little warm up, like we had to walk one hour to the gym, so we already had a kind of warm up. Um, but yeah, still you have to warm up your muscles, um, get the muscle mind connection. So we also started with just using the bar, which is 20 kilos, but uh, yeah. We did some squats with that, and as we will also see, I did front squats and Danielle did back squats. Um, yeah, it's just a, another way to do the exercise. I feel more safe if I have the bar on my shoulders. Um, yeah, but that's just a thing. You get used to it. And yeah, here you can see a bit weight. Like with front squats, I can only do 30 or 35 kilos. Um, yeah, most people are stronger when they do back squats. Here you can see Danielle with 50 kilos. Yeah. And yeah, I just stayed with my 30 kilos. Um, but I have to say that like my way of doing it got better. Like you can see I go really down. I had some problems with that in the beginning. And then our second exercise was kickbacks. And I really love the exercise. Um, and we did a set with no break, like a combination set kind of with this exercise. Danielle told me um, it the first time, it's called pull throughs, I think. Um, yeah, so it was a good exercise, I felt it, but of course you have to practice it a few times until you really get there, like Danielle did it a bit better. <laughs> as you can maybe see. We continued with the best exercise for a nice booty hip thrust. It was a bit difficult with the bar because there was no real machine or whatever. So as you can see, we struggled a bit with that or like I struggled a bit with that. My booty is a bit stronger than my whole body. Um, but yeah, in the end we, we got it. Um, but I think the highest amount of kilograms was 40 or something. Like normally I can do 60. But yeah, as I said, it was a bit difficult with the bar to get it on our body. And yeah. Then we also did outer thighs and inner thighs. Okay, my pronunciation is, I think, wrong, but you know, and you can see. Um, yeah, with no break, we just changed and did three sets of that and then we also did abs um, yeah we just did um, this kind of crunches then yeah, this kind of crunches with like legs in the middle and then legs up no break no break between and yeah my abs were burning so much Danielle was quite fast I <laughs> died kind of and yeah then we continued with leg raises I also did kind of the beginner version because as I said I died so I just did like single legs by time and then we did bicycle crunches um, yeah 30 seconds each and then we did some planks Danielle also did like hip changes as you can see I think a little bit yeah like this I died I stayed in the front position um, and then we had a little break and we continued with this exercise for the um, sides of our um, 
stomach or like the sides muscles you know what I mean um, yeah and at the end we just stretched a bit not too much like normally you should do stretching a few hours later or like one day after but yeah just to calm down and later our host made us so delicious food but before we had a protein smoothie uh, unfortunately i couldn't find the video um of the wraps but i made a photo like we had some guac with tacos and like self-made tacos and then two wraps with rice and uh, yeah vegetables and it was so so good and yeah, I also had another portion of rice with some vegetables, tomatoes and beans. Then we had our photo shoot and we were a bit late because we talked so much with our host. Um, so we only had 20 minutes for the whole shoot. But yeah, it turned out quite good. You can see the first results on our Instagram pages. I will also link um, our Instagram pages or profiles down below. And yeah, I just filmed a bit quickly. We did some photos in the glass house with some plants. And then we also did a few pictures on the stairs, as you can see. Um, yeah, and the photographer was really nice. I really liked the first results we got. And then we went to a vegan cafe, which is called Henderson's. And we got two cakes, which was so good. And Danielle also got a... Um, Hot chocolate. Okay, so now we're sitting in a vegan small cozy cafe and I got a chocolate nut cake which is amazing. I got some green tea and then my friend got a um, blueberry cake. Cheese. Blueberry cheesecake. Which also looks very good. And then hot chocolate and yeah. Finished. <laughs> <laughs> and after that we just yeah walked a bit around the city with our host and then I had to go to the airport unfortunately and there I ate this protein bar which I got in the gym and there and then I had to go back to Copenhagen. So Super soft update. Um, I'm in the SJ now. No, I'm not in the SJ. I'm in the metro now, and it's like shortly after 12, around midnight. Um, and yeah, my flight was delayed, as Danielle said. EasyJet is always delayed. Never mind. I'm on my way home. I'll probably be home around one. Yeah. So. Um, I finished the protein bar, it was really good. And I'm a bit tired of course and yeah, my battery is also not the best. Like, so I should stop looking at my phone and I don't know. Uh, hopefully I will be home soon. But it was such a nice trip. And I also got the first results from the photo shoot today. And you can see them on Instagram. So yeah. Go check out my page or profile, Katarina Kedelsen and Danielle's, because there will also be some photos of us. Yeah, that's for now. Maybe that's the end of the vlog. I hope you liked it, and yeah, see you next time, probably in German again. But yeah, this was in English because of my friend, because of the hands, but then, so bye!